going to start programming with Penguin. I'm using Penguin version 0.12, available at penguin.googlecode.com, and I do recommend that you use the latest version that's available. We talked before about using the interactive interpreter to write commands, and that's useful maybe if you're not quite sure what the command does, or you um, want to test it out. Maybe you're just uh, using the Penguin to move around and draw pictures. Eventually, though, what you'll want to do is you'll want to write your code up here in the editor. One way you can do that is by just copying and pasting, and on Linux what I'm doing is just highlighting and then middle clicking. Of course you can always right click and copy and then right click and paste in the editor. Notice that the uh, prompt, the three arrows in the space, are automatically removed when you paste into the editor, so you don't have to worry about removing that manually later. Also notice that in the editor, when you press enter, your code does not run right away. Uh, whereas down here in the interpreter, as soon as you press enter, your code is running immediately. Up here in the editor, pushing enter is just uh, making space. Maybe you've got some more code that you want to write, so um, putting spaces in your code at logical places makes your code easier to read. Once you have some code here in the editor that's ready to run, what you're going to do is come down here to this test run button and click on that, and then your code will run. Let's just reset so we can see exactly what this is doing. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push the um, canvas down here, scroll down so that uh, the uh, penguin won't go off the screen. And then when we tip test run, then the program will run. And this is one way of writing what's called a loop. And we'll talk about loops more in the future, but basically a loop is just running the same code over and over again, possibly with some changes in the conditions under which it runs. And in this particular case, by running the same code, four times, the penguin ends up at the location where he started, and you end up with this kind of interesting gear shape. Maybe you like this uh, program and you want to save it, but you want to work on something new. What you can do is come down to this New Page button, and that does clear out your editor window so you can write something new, but it doesn't erase your code. It's still available here. Just uh, either use your mouse wheel on the selector or click and find the one that you want. One thing you might want to do is label this code. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a comment line. Let's call this strange angles. A comment line is a line that starts with this number sign or pound sign. And that's a line that's useful to the programmer, but it's not actually used in the program to make the uh, penguin do anything. And you can put comment lines anywhere that you want, um, any place that you uh, feel like you want to explain what's going on in the program. And anything that's on this first line, it doesn't have to be a comment line, but anything that's on this first line will come up here into the selector so that you can find it later. Maybe on this other page, let's call this one regular angles. And let's just write some code that'll be useful in making a square. And then here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull the penguin up here, and then when we test run this one, if I run this one four times, he's just moving forward and turning left. So if I run that four times, he's going to draw a square. And maybe you want to save these two programs for later. Just come over here to File, Save, and give it a name. Let's just call it Angle. And then maybe you want to work on something completely different. Go to File, New. That clears out your canvas, and it does clear out everything that was in your editor. But don't worry, because we already saved it. So we'll just open it up again. Here it is, Angle. And notice that it does have this .pyn extension. One thing to realize is that when you save your program, anything that was drawn in the canvas is not saved with your program. Uh, your program is still here, so you can regenerate what you had before, just by running your program again, just like you did before. But if you wanted to save the drawing itself, there's a different way of doing that. Let's say this drawing is something that's interesting to you and you want to save that. Go over here to File, Export Image. Export Image is how you would save out your drawing. Let's call this Angle also. And then that, that drawing is saved. So let's just we'll go in here, Angle. And there you can see that the drawing was saved. Here's the, the gear shape. And it looks real small in, the, um, in this preview, but it, it's saved at full size. One way that you can find some interesting code is by looking at the examples that are included with Penguin. If you go under File, Examples, and we'll just look at, say, Polar. Just like when you've got your own code here in the editor, if you want to run this code, hit the Test Run button. And you'll notice that this time it seems like it didn't run your code, but it did. Uh, it's just it's a little bit different from what we were doing before. It has this def space line here at the beginning. And what that does is when this code runs, it inserts this new function 
which is called show all. And in order to run that, so what you'll do is you'll hit test run and then just press enter and it'll start running that code. Some of these examples are very long running. What you'll want to do is click on speed and crank it up to instant and that'll then run the code as fast as possible. And even though the code is running as fast as possible, some of these are still very long running and you may not want to wait for the whole thing to run. They usually don't take more than a minute or two to run the whole thing, but if you do want to stop it in the middle, just hold down Control and press C, so you're hitting Control C, and eventually that will stop the program. Uh, then you could always run Show All again and, and uh, pick up uh, from the beginning. Um, sometimes uh, pressing Control C will stop it right away. Sometimes it does take a few seconds. Just hit Control C once and wait, or just keep hitting it a few times, and eventually it will stop. So take a look at the examples, and maybe you can make some changes to the examples or try to figure out what's going on. Some of the examples, like I said, are very complex. What they're done is, is we've broken them down into uh, different pieces. So make sure that you look at um, all the parts of the examples, and maybe you can make changes to parts of them and see what happens. Uh, but we will get uh, more in-depth in all of all this uh, code, so uh, don't worry if it's not making complete sense right now. So tune in for the next podcast. Thanks for watching.